Good morning, you guys. I am on my way to get my eyelashes filled. I've had a few questions on what eyelash extensions are and kind of my review on them, I guess. And I have a love-hate relationship with eyelash extensions. I love them because I wake up, my lashes are long and black, and when I get out of the shower, I can run anywhere and I still kind of look put together. I love them for vacations. Do I feel like I want them all the time? I don't know because they kind of drive me crazy because they go in different directions. It, it's really easy to pop on a pair of false lashes. So I love them for certain times and I hate them for certain times. I think they are amazing for going on vacation or for the summertime. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me as I get my eyelashes filled today. So I'm just back in the room waiting for Natalie. <laughs> Look at her little kitty sitting there on the chair. <laughs> so cute. I'm just in this room back here. And when you come, you don't wear any makeup because they put like pads under your eyes and their hands are all over your face. So you don't generally wear makeup when you go in to get your eyelashes filled or put on. Basically what eyelash extensions are is an artificial eyelash that they take and they glue to your individual eyelash. And so it takes, when you first get them on, it takes like two and a half hours. And when your eyelashes naturally fall out, they the extension falls out, or if they stay on, they just grow out. And so they, when they do a fill, they fill in the ones that have come out. So you can see on this eyelash, my in, inner needs done, look how red my face is, and then all of these. I had like one or two over here that were barely hanging on and I just barely pulled them off this morning. So she'll wanna fill these and like the ones in the center. This eyelash is doing much better, um, but you can see right here, right here, and like in here needs to be filled. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna get them all filled and looking fresh again. And I hope this goes into focus and I don't even know where it's <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're good. You're in there right now. <laughs> yep. Okay, so Natalie is working on my lashes, and something I love about Natalie is she is such an amazing educator. And you just keep working, but if you want me to stop talking, I can. Yep, you can. Um, is I've always told people, um, I've always said, when you get your lashes done, they always say, no, your lashes aren't gonna fall out. No, it's not gonna ruin your lashes. But that's not true because they always fall out. I never have any lashes. I completely have bald spots. But Natalie is telling me that is, it's, um, what are you telling me? <laughs> so, it's, yeah, when you're, when you're looking at lashes or when you're choosing lashes, you need to make sure that you're searching for an artist that um, isolates. And I don't know if the camera, uh, go ahead and aim Tell me where down. to put it down 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 keep going Pitch my face keep going down oh down. i was hoping to get your face oh yes and hi guys um but keep going i don't see you i'm trying to see your lashes <laughs> um do you care if i steal the camera no do it okay out here on the outside lash line um there's a few like clumping that's what you don't want you should isolate individuals so you can see in here where it's a lot lighter and softer on the inside and that's what you want. So what you're looking for, and it's just like with hair extensions, if you are not supporting it, if you've got too many lashes for your individual lash, um, it that's what's gonna call, cause bald spots. So you just want to make sure that when you're supporting the lash, the lash artist is isolating an individual lash and then just doing a few lashes to support that. And it, it takes into consideration the length of yours. You can't go incredibly long if your natural lashes are really short because that's what's gonna cause balding. You can't go really thick. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you've got someone who's super educated in doing the lashes so that you're keeping them natural when you take them off. If they're done right, your natural lashes shouldn't be altered at all. If they're clumpy and heavy, that's what's gonna create bald spots. Which I think that is 100% my problem is I've wanted thick, big lashes and I've never been instructed not to do that. I don't have really long lashes to begin with, so I think the ones that I've been having have been way too heavy for my eyes. Yeah, so we're just shortening them up a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Not much, we're still keeping them long and batty like you like, but um, adjusting the length to support more of the length of your lash, um, which will help decrease any balding and still keep them full, keep them on longer, um, but not cause damage to your own lash line. So she's saying these are what they should look like 
And these are the ones we had to take off my lashes. You can see how super clumped they are. Yeah. And really heavy. Mm -hmm. And the glue is really high up the shaft. Uh -huh. The glue should be down low. Even even lower, the fan should be mm -hmm. a little out from there. But you can see some of them still have natural <laughs> lash on them. Yes. But you can just see the you can see the difference in the, yes. the fans and I mean there's like way too many. Yeah. Way, way too many in one attachment there. Yep. So um, most of what we did today was anywhere from four we did probably a five, four and a three mm -hmm. um three D. So Kay. that's what they should be. That's not what they should be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy moly, that was a very long appointment. So I had to have most, well, all of my lashes removed. She was going through um, a few reasons why they may not have um, been done so well. There was just a lot of glue. I think there was just too much glue and the lashes were just a little too heavy for my eyes, which a few of you did comment on that um, when I got mine done. They were like, oh, those look a little heavy for you. But I feel like they look really good now. When I get in the sun, I'll, um, put them, the camera a little bit closer. You guys, isn't Natalie amazing? She's such an educator. She knows her stuff. She's been doing my hair for years and years and years. I will leave all of her information down below if you guys want to check out her work on Instagram and her website. So here are my lashes. I don't have any other makeup on besides my eyelashes. And I feel like I look pretty good. So I'm pretty excited to um, keep these on. I think next time we're going to focus on making them a little more full. So that's the plan and I am happy with how they turned out. I'm hoping that I answered some questions about a little bit how uh, lash extensions work but if you guys have specific questions I'll keep my eye on the comment section below and I'll try and answer those questions for you guys thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time bye guys